So my my thoughts on the Makita uh, rip saw reciprocating saw. So the Makita one, um, to be honest, there really is uh, no difference in performance, um, power, quality, effectiveness, as the Bosch one that I've also reviewed um, on my uh, on my YouTube site here. But so the Makita one, the only difference between the Makita one really and the Bosch one is that the Makita one you come with a nice hard uh, HDP plastic case for the actual reciprocating saw to go in whilst the Bosch one comes in a box at least the one I got did anyway so the price is a bit more expensive for the Makita probably because of that now the Makita we use well I use as I have done with the Bosch one as well and I used it all the time in my place of work recycling and um it really does work very hard. So the ones that I use, both Bosch and Makita, um, I have a six inch reciprocating um, Saxton blade. And effectively, to be absolutely honest, the bottom inch um, of the blade and the, bot and the top inch and a half, I suppose, effectively, they don't really get used because if you use a reciprocating saw right at the tip of the blade, it often will just... Um, uh, sort of hit the object you're cutting and then bounce up or bend the blade. So effectively, you have a six inch cut blade, but you don't actually use that full cut. Unless you're cutting through something like wood, uh, whereby it wouldn't necessarily rebound um, as you did it. So it is a very, very hard working uh, tool. It will cut through very thick plastic, um, 33, 35, even nearly 40 millimeter thickness plastic. Um, we do for a lot of pipe, various size of uh, recycling pipe from uh, a PE80, PE100 mixture to PP, that's polypropylene. And it takes time to do it, but it will cut through it. We also cut through um, high quality uh, polypropylene sheet. Again, sometimes up to 30 millimeters thick. And again, you have to put a good blade back into it. it. Takes time, but it will cut through it. But if you take too long, as you cut through it, they melt the plastic as it's cutting it. Uh, behind you, you'll eventually find that the uh, plastic will dry, uh, cool off rather, and uh, it will seal the uh, plastic again and effectively be like a, a melt uh, a melt fix. You have to go through again very quickly to, to um, unglue it as it were and stick it. But it cuts through plastic very, very easily. Uh, we've cut up with the Makita and the Bosch. We've cut up loads of uh, wheelie bins that the council use, cut them into four. 1200 bins commercial bins we cut them up as well chop them all up um, and they all get recycled and the rip saws work very well um, under the circumstances that i have to go for they work hard and they'll work all day no problem um, they do tend to get very slightly warm on the handles but um, nothing special they're very very good they they come they both come with the makita i'm thinking of mainly at the moment comes with a good uh cable length of cable probably i'd say probably just over a well over two meters length at least so you've got a good distance from the plug to work with and with extension cable obviously that improves it so the makita works jolly hard it will cut through wood as well the same as the bosch one if you, if you want it to cut through wood it's no difference to the you know it's no difference in quality ability quality or anything not one bit in my eyes anyway i've used them both equally and the bosch and the keter they are like two brothers to be honest they work exactly the same they're exactly as effective 
perform just as good. It all depends what you particularly like, whether you prefer the Bosch brand or the Makita brand. It doesn't really matter, really. You know, it's just personal choice. Um, I haven't noticed any difference, one bit, between the two brands, except maybe the price of Makita is slightly more expensive. So, yeah, I recommend them if you've, if you've got lots of things to cut up, plastic or wood, it'll cut through other materials as well, of course. Um, you could cut through metal, various things like that. Obviously, you'd need different blades for that. Um, it'll cut through anything, really. It's got a list of things that you can cut through, but mainly for me, wood and plastic, thick plastic, um, into manageable chunks that can be handled and carried before being cut further down. This is the heavy plastic through a, through a, um, a large bandsaw. Yeah, so that's about it really. That's the Makita and uh, I hope you find that helpful.